Kayak VR Mirage is exactly what you'd expect, a kayaking simulator with a heavy emphasis on the visuals, and it is beautiful. There were times where I felt truly immersed and forgot I'm actually just some twat with plastic on his head. I felt I was there, sailing through caves with water dripping on my head, cruising around the beach and being scared to death by that dog. The game has a pool you start in and can practice around, then jump into one of the four maps with a couple different weather settings. Free roam around and take in the scenery or test your skills with one of the race modes. There's two or three different courses per map, so not a great deal of content overall, and I do wonder about the longevity this game will have. While you're exploring, little events will happen, the dog appearing, a penguin diving into water, or the iceberg breaking off. And while they're great little additions that make the game feel alive, the fact they happen in the same way every time will, I think, get boring when you replay them. There's a roadmap for features to be added, but I can't see much in the way of free DLC maps so far. Then again, although this does cost $16.99, which is pretty steep, in comparison to a lot of VR games, it's not terrible. The online race functionality and customizable parts you buy with your C miles is what people will come back for. You can see other players as you paddle in the time trials, and there's of course a leaderboard system. I'm seriously terrible with it personally, but it's still pretty invigorating. This isn't a terrible workout game actually. When you go for those deep strokes at speed, you can get a real sweat on. The kayak physics seem to be pretty much spot on, as they should be. You can't twist a paddle is the only thing I can think of, though I suppose twisting two controllers independently would cause some serious physics fuck ups, so it's fair enough. If you have enough space, you could take them to a broom handle or an actual paddle and have a pretty sweet time. Some maniac suggested adding support for a rowing machine on the roadmap forum. Great idea though, one of the best things about VR is turning workouts into something that you can actually enjoy. An area I feel could use some improvement is the audio, which is by no means bad, but I think greater detail there would aid the sense of immersion. Little sounds for the paddle hitting the kayak especially would be good. Some more ocean noises too, things are a little too quiet out there. Good game overall though, not a vast amount of content, but visually pretty stunning with solid graphics options. I like the Arctic Caves especially and the Storm on the Norway map. It definitely tests your VR seasickness legs though, so be warned. Thanks for watching, I upload weekly with reviews like this, VR showcases and longer video essay style videos. Have a look on my channel and see if there's something you like. Peace.